All right, guys, I already know that you guys watched a One Piece episode, the latest episode of One Piece with my boy Shanks in it. We're going to do a full body workout inspired by him. I don't want to hear anything about it. All right, let's go. All right, bet, bet, bet. Uh, uh, but your, your arm. Like I said, we're doing a full body workout inspired by Shanks. Let's go. So before we get into the workout, I want you guys to make sure you're doing your stretching and warming up. So do some foam rolling, do some stretching. Oh, the lights are back on. Nice. So we're gonna get into the Shanks workout. This workout is gonna be a little bit more lower body dominant because Shanks only has one arm. So he's gonna be doing a lot of unilateral activities working on his one arm. But major bulk of his growth and his ability to maintain his muscle mass is gonna come from his lower body work. Pro tip of why it's important to never skip a leg day. You can work on your upper body all you want, but your legs will never grow just from upper body work. But if you shift focus to your lower body, the work you put into your lower body Actually, that growth potential, that muscle development, also propagates to your upper body as well. So in my opinion, if I was Shank's personal trainer, I would be doing a lot of lower body dominant workouts while focusing on doing some single arm work, obviously, because, you know, he only has a single arm. You know? <laughs> Let's get right into it. Guys, so the first movement we have on the menu today is going to be one arm push ups, right? So, one arm push ups obviously, Shanks only has one arm, so working on one arm push ups is a great way to not only build up the chest but the triceps and the shoulders. If you're not able to do one arm push ups, I'll show you guys an alternative that you guys can do, and you can work up to doing a one arm push up. So, we're going to do four sets of six to eight reps on each side. For one-arm push-ups, especially when we start off, having a wider stance, it's going to help them out. Then we're gonna rest for literally 90 seconds. Resting anywhere between 90 to the two minutes is gonna be good. I haven't done one arm push-ups in a while, so I only stop at six. Sometimes as I get into the workout, my body will warm up. And be like, oh wait, no, I can do extra, I can do a little bit more. And sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> Training in general, no matter whatever workout routine you're doing, is a journey with ebbs and flows where energy is gonna be up. It's just gonna be down, straight is gonna be up, straight is gonna be down. And you just work with it. As long as you're staying consistent on that journey, you will make progress. I'm just gonna show you guys the alternative, which is gonna be archer push ups. things to keep in mind you make this movement easier and harder depending on how you extend your supporting arm right so the closer your supporting arm is to your body the easier it's going to be the farther out it is the harder it's going to be and once you get to a place where you're able to bust out 10 to 15 reps on each side with your arm fully extended that's when would be the appropriate time for you to shift gears, level up, and go to the one arm push up for practice. Okay, so moving on to the next <laughs> to the next movement in our routine is going to be a superset of Bulgarian split squats, holding the weight for the one arm, and then we're gonna do jump squats. We're gonna do eight reps. 
eight reps both time, and then we're going to immediately go into jump squats for the abs. So let's do this. You got it. Nice. Sets, so a total of three sets with about a 90 second rest in between. Okay, so movement three on the menu, we're gonna be hitting back. So if I was Shanks and if I was at that level of back strength, I will be doing one arm pull-ups, but I am not at that point yet where I'm able to do that. So a good alternative we could do to get that one arm pulling strength going. Three sets up here. Key things to keep in mind with this, you want to bring your shoulder down, right? And you'll kind of want to lock it in. Then, you're going to pull and twist, right? Three, four, five, six, That's how we do to the other. three sets of that it's going to be about 10 to 15 reps adjust the weight to a level where it feels anywhere from a scale from 1 to 10 you want to be sitting between a 7 and an 8 and that's kind of like that's a range where you know you're getting good work done and you're getting good muscle stimulation but you're not overworking yourself so that way you can come in for your next workout later in the week and not feel burned out or fatigued so we're going to do that two more times and rest about 60 to 90 seconds. Cool. Well, I didn't see you guys there. So, <laughs> the next workout we have, exercise number four, is going to be another lower body superset. We're going to be doing dumbbell deadlifts, 15 reps. Nope, actually, I was wrong, 10 reps. And then we're going to go right here into hip abductors to work on our glutes for 15 reps with a five second hold at the end. Again, focusing a lot on the lower body movements for my boy Shanks to run and leap like how he's able to do in that episode. You need some strong, powerful legs to do that. And so we're gonna do this superset to get that going. So first we're gonna start off with 10 deadlifts. Make sure it's focusing on hinging. You're not squatting down necessarily, right? What you're doing is more so from the thrusting of your glutes. Like so, right? Bend down, Just keeping the back straight, and chest proud.
last rep, you hold for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. So that's a good superset to work on your posterior chain, aka your hamstrings and glutes, and building that up. And we're gonna do that two more times with a 90 second rest in between. Come, sonny! So we've made it to the last movement on the routine for getting like shanks, and we're gonna do some face pulls. Now, in Shanks' case, you would only be able to do face pulls with one arm, and then maybe get set up a particular contraptions to allow him to move his arm back to work on his rear delt and the middle of his back. Uh -huh. But in our case, we're gonna do some face pulls to replicate that posture that my boy Shanks has as he's walking over and looking over a kid's body, being like, I know this guy did not come up into my territory acting like that. <laughs> so <laughs> you, gotta have, you gotta have strong, you gotta have a strong posture and face pulse is great for making sure you don't have posture walking around like this, but like this, okay? Pro tip that I like about face pulls. Um, usually most people do face pulls using one tricep, one rope. I like doing it with two ropes because you can get a deeper pull or well you get more range of motion with the pull. Also, they shouldn't really call face pulls face pulls. They should call it more like overhead pulls because when you pull the rope to your eye length, you don't get as much of a contraction in your rear delts as if you pull the rope over your head, right? So we're gonna do 15 reps of this, three sets of 15. Two more sets of that with about a minute rest in between. And then that'll be it for the Shanks workout. Of course, don't forget to cool down and stretch. Thanks for joining me for this workout. If you love the workout, don't forget to like it. Don't forget to comment down below which was your favorite movement in the workout. And then also, if you have any recommendations for workouts in the future, let me know in the comments down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to your boy if you want to see more. Always remember that you are the main character of your own story. My name is Bam. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.